guys welcome back this is Viren Kumar so in this uh, video session I am going to discuss about the how we can launch the browser in the Azure DevOps pipeline and then we will see how we can run the BDD Cucumber automation script in the headless mode in the Azure DevOps pipeline so for that we have the BDD Cucumber project in our hands so on my screen or you can see this is the demo BDD project and same you have in your uh, Eclipse that you want to execute okay so in this uh, we have the one print.java files actually we have the one feature files so this is a verify the google search functionality in the chrome so this is a very simple scenario that we are going to test and like that you have the multiple scenario in your bucket okay first we will launch the browser then we will end some text and then we are clicking on the search button the same implementation I have provided in the step definition call as print google.java you can see on my screen that this is the system.set property code we are going to launch the chrome driver so we are providing the uh, driver setting then we are providing the driver location here so this is the chrome driver.exe file okay and uh, this we are going to launch the browser the google chrome browser and now we are going to maximize the browser and then we will enter the google.com okay this is the one browser we are going to access in the automation then we will enter the selenium web driver okay as a text to the verify that the, the script is working or not and after that we will click on the search button and finally we will close the driver so this is the very simple uh, flow in the BDD cucumber that we are going to test so as you can see this is a test runner of java files and we have the one feature files to execute and this is the plugin we, we want to generate the json report and we have the step definition glue code here so to run this code we will right click on this one then we go we will go to the run as and we will select the junit test after that the bdd cucumber server will start the execution for this uh, the feature file and the step definition code okay on console you can see this is going to launch the browser okay launching the chrome and after that it will maximize the browser then it will enter the text google web driver selenium web driver and the selenium web driver is searched and after that it will close the browser and it will come out from the flow okay so like that this script is executed the same things we want to execute on the Azure DevOps pipeline so for that what we have done we have pushed this code to the, uh, the our github repository so on my screen you can see this is the github repository for me bdd test report and there i have pushed this code into the master branch and same in your case you have the one branch there you need to first push the code from your local system to the cloud system so there it, it could be uh, your github account it could be your bitbucket account it could be your uh, SUN account so any bit uh, source code management tool there you need to push now the same code we will execute through the azure devops pipeline so for that we will go to the azure devops dev.azure.com and there we have the one organization under the organization we will go to the project and under the project on the left side you can see this pipeline sections are there so for the pipeline sections we have the one option is the new pipeline so to create a new pipeline you just simply click on it after that you will have the some stages here connect select configure and review so we will see the one by one so in the connect stage we are even going to select this one use the classic editor to create a pipeline without yaml language Okay, so I'm going to click on it now here we have the source code management tool those are integrated with the Azure DevOps so we have the lots of their github enterprise server subversion bitbucket cloud and other git okay so now we are going to refer this github account okay and for that I am I have this service connection file okay the, the service connection is basically to call the github account so that it can check out the code from this 
account to the local directory okay so for that we need to give the permission so that's why we have created the connections service here if you want to learn how to create the uh, connection service i will upload the i know the separate video for that now uh, we have the repository so i'm going to select the repository so we have the bdd test report because we have pushed the code to the bdd test report okay i'm going to select the bdd test report and you just select this repository and then you need to select the default branch for the manual and the schedule build okay so we have the master branch here only and now we are going to continue okay now we have the template format so for that you simply click on the empty job now we have the one pipeline okay this pipeline name is the test azure pipeline ci1 so you can change the name to 10 now the agent pool i'm going to select the agent pool is the default agent okay default agent means i'm going to run this script on my local system because i have started the agent on my local system okay so this is the agent pool how i configure if you want to know how to configure the agent pool you can follow this watch list of the Azure DevOps. You will get the idea how to do the configuration for the agent pool. Now we have the get source. So the get source is already done. Repository, master branch, other things you can leave it as it is. Okay. Now we have the agent job is there. Okay. So agent job is 10. We are going to say, and this inherit from the pipeline. So from there we have going to select so by default it will take so you no need to change here and parallelism you can put the none as of now and here uh, if you have executed earlier project then you just select this options if it, the previous build has even the failed you want to run this automation script now we want to add the build step so for that what you can do you click on this plus sign okay and you need to add one task so here you just simply select the maven and there you have the maven build test and deploy so i'm going to add this step and this is the maven pom.xml display name this is the pom.xml file package is the goal which we want to execute and publish the azure pipelines results we are going not going to publish or you can publish the uh, azure devops pipelines results and allow the broken links now you just unselect of this link okay and uh, rest you can save as it is and now save and queue we just do the save and queue now it will start the execution of the script so we will go to this job and in this job it is going to uh will check the step by step so now first is initializing jobs now it's check out the code from this one Now it's executing the maven command. So we have the goal is the package. So it will do the maven clean package. So let's see if it is going to launch the Google Chrome browser on the local system. Going to launch the Chrome driver. So you can see the Chrome is launched here through the Azure DevOps CI pipeline build. Just enter the text and the search result it will display and it will close the browser. So this happened through the CI pipeline code. So you can see the code is doing the execution of the Chrome driver. Okay. So this is how we can launch the Chrome driver. Okay, now it's check out. So BDD build is successful now you can see the build is successful and the chrome is launched so this is the way how we can launch the chrome driver into the ci pipeline of the azure devops now we, we want to execute this script in the headless mode okay we don't want to launch the chrome driver so for that how we can do 